It's money! I love money! Let's get to the vlog! Alright, well fall is in full swing and I love it! After a rather rainy, dreary weekend, so nice out to be here. Sunshining, Wonder Bar. Just heading to a client meeting. It's actually already lunchtime. Spent the morning hanging out with the kids, doing a little bit of writing. But now we are starting our day, and I'm pumped. yet check out the pickle spears and that may sound funny if you don't like pickles don't try them but if you like pickles at all get the pickle spears I just had them last night and they're unbelievably good even if you had pickle spears before and you didn't like them these pickle spears so good anyway complete kind of re new owners new whole vibe in here if you're at the old Cathedral Village Freehouse this is different and I really like it Hi, how are you? I'm fine. Hey. All right, meeting's done. Food was excellent. Now I gotta go home and edit some videos for some clients. Getting close to wrapping up a couple of big projects. Excited about that. Kicking off some more today. Life's good. I love working based off of referrals. If you're ever gonna build a business, the core of it needs to be referrals, meaning that you work with one great person and then they introduce you to another great person. You just end up getting way, way better fits for your business. What I love about referrals is that the person referring is always trying to be a good matchmaker because if I have a good relationship with them and I'm the one providing the services, they don't want to connect me with a client that would be a nightmare. But they're also working with the client to make sure that I would be a good fit for them because they don't want that person to be mad at them for referring them to me. But anyway, because they know both sides, it always ends up ooh, typically working out really, really well. So I love referrals. Anyway, this is another lunch meeting kicking off a referral and I'm so pumped about the project. It's gonna be good. All right, wrapped up the video project. I'm really, really excited about the way that it turned out. The thing is though is somebody much smarter and wiser than me said this about video projects and I think it applies in lots of areas, but um, they said that no video project is ever finished, only abandoned. Meaning that you never like get to 100, 100% being happy with anything. But I think that's important that when you're a creator, you recognize that nothing's ever gonna be perfect. And if you're waiting for something to be perfect, it is gonna take way too long for you to do anything and you'll be crippled, absolutely crippled. So with lots of my video projects, do I leave them going, oh yeah, that was perfect? No, I leave them going, hey, I think that turned out really, really well. But they're, you know, you could endlessly tweak and do all these things and never put anything out there. But for me, there's lots of days with the vlog where I'm like, eh, it's good enough and you just put it out there. And that's allowed me to kind of keep going and I'm always striving for excellence, but sometimes it can be hard if you're always worried about it being perfect. And uh, side note, uh, buddy I kind of met online, Tyler, I'm gonna link him below. He started his YouTube channel today. He's been talking about it for months. I think he's been a little bit crippled by stuff being good enough and he'll film all the stuff and edit it and he wouldn't put it out there and he's finally put it out there. So fantastic job to you, Tyler. So many people talk about doing it and never doing it and you did it. I think number two is almost harder than number one, but three, four, five, all the way through hundreds, they get easier. So anyway, if you're, if you're a creator and you're struggling to just like put something out there because it's not good enough, maybe you just draw. The only way to get better is just put it out there. So you got something right now? Just go put it out there. Cool. Maybe something else that I will show you is something that I made as a side thing. Like I was shooting these really cool interviews, which are going to be amazing, and I probably won't be able to share them because they've got some um, private stories in them. But I just made this little clip with me as kind of a joke at the end. 
But it's honestly one of the coolest things that I've ever made. And I remember like probably a year ago, if I would have looked at this, I would have been like, I have no idea how I would ever do that. But just through the process of creating, it's amazing what you're able to do. And so I'm going to roll this little clip. It's kind of ridiculous in the last little bit, maybe drags on a little long, but anyway, it's cool. Here, watch this. Okay, we're vlogged today because uh, I'm working late tonight, so I'm trying to like wrap everything up during the day and got a late start, so we're just like oh, compressing it. But if you live in Regina and you want me to come speak at your high school or school or your teacher or something like that, I would love to do that. Talking, I don't know, it could be on entrepreneurship, could be on creativity, could be on life thoughts, anything like that. You should mention to your SRC or maybe your teacher. I put it on Snapchat and I got about 10 or a dozen snaps back from people which is great, lots of them for their entrepreneurship classes, and I think that would be really cool. I'd love to come share a little bit there. That's one thing, next thing, Q&A questions. If you have some, drop it in a comment below, and I'm happy to get to some q and A. I I think that's mostly it for a Monday. This is like gonna be a busy week, but we're still gonna find the time to be able to do this. Lots of people have been asking me about like the pace and how I keep up the pace of so many vlogs while doing all these other things, and Honestly, sometimes I just trick myself into doing them. Like, for example, on Saturday night, Megan and I were hanging out, we were watching a movie. I was like, oh, I'll probably hit the vlog on Sunday. I didn't really want to do it. It was like 10 or 10.30. And all I did was I convinced myself just to take the camera, pull out the memory card, and stick it in the computer. Once I did that and I had it in the computer, I was like, well, let's copy it over. And it's like, well, let's open up the project and just put the footage in the project and for long, suddenly I was done editing the vlog. So you just kind of got to make yourself take a couple of steps forward and usually that helps. Anyway, last thought for the day. Thank you guys for following along. I am Justin Rebus. Love you guys. Peace. How do you guys feel about the old hard press fly panel hat? I don't know, like I never wore hats for the longest time and I was into like kind of snapback style. I wanted one of these. I'm not sure how I feel. I think I like it. I like the logo. Got a nice new sweater too. Booyah!